guys, welcome back to my channel, Lakshiti Rana Gill. And today's video is going to be something very exciting because all of you keep asking me how do you edit your pictures, and I'm going to tell you what software do I use. It's basically Adobe Photoshop and most of you don't even know what Photoshop is. You guys just think it means editing but Photoshop is a proper software on which I edit my pictures and Photoshop is like the bath of all softwares. You can do everything in this. So this video is going to be Photoshop 101 for dummies. So let's get started. You don't need a DSLR to get good pictures. Even with my phone, I get like amazing shots. So all of these amazing pictures which you see is the beautiful place, my phone, and a little bit of editing which makes the pictures just come out really beautifully. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you like the basic functions of Photoshop so that you can use them on your everyday pictures. And I'm gonna show you the before and after as well so you guys can compare how much difference does it make. Make sure that you don't get so much into it that you edit your pictures so much that it starts looking fake. Make sure that you do just the right amount of editing so that it looks as beautiful as it looked when you were actually there. <laughs> so like I mentioned, it Adobe Photoshop is actually a software, it's a big software which can be used for about everything that you need to do and it's a very complicated software but I'm going to tell you the basics and you can start with that and slowly build up on that later. You can just go to adobe.com and uh, download the trial version of Adobe Photoshop 2017 CC and this is the latest version, the CC 2017 of Photoshop. You can download it for Mac or for Windows, I'm using the one for Mac. And um, this would be the trial version, but uh, you can pay for it and make it full version as well. Or you can get the cracked version from somewhere and use it, but I would more to suggest you that. I'm going to be editing three different sort of pictures for you guys. And all I need to do is drag the picture onto the Photoshop icon and it opens. Then just go to filter on the top menu and find camera raw filter. There you would see a lot of options for tuning your image. Since the picture is a little dull, I'm going to try to brighten it up a little by using the exposure. Make sure that you don't expose it too much or go too dark, just have the right amount of exposure for your image. Then I'm going to increase the contrast a little and reduce the highlight to show the clouds even more. And since my grass and the lower area of the car is not very visible, I'm going to decrease the shadows to make the picture a little more bright. After which, I'm going to increase the blackness a little so that the black area of the car is even darker. Moving on to the next tab right here, it shows luminescence increasing which is going to help you smoothen the image a little. And from the top you can increase the sharpening so that your smoothen the image has a little bit of the edge. Moving on to the other tab, you can increase or decrease the saturation of the colors in the image. I want to increase the red because of the car. And when there is a lot of greenery, you can also increase the yellow and the green. Now check out the difference. Also there is sky, so I'm going to increase the sky saturation. Oops, this is too much, so I'm going to reduce this a little bit. And now I think it's just perfect. Now I'm going to go to the first tab and going to show you magic. Just increase the clarity and see the difference in the image. It looks insane. You can just check out the difference and you can see the sky, the car, the grass. Everything is exaggerated and looks amazing. Just press OK once you're done and check out the difference. Once you're done editing, just go to File, Save As, put a name to your image and save it wherever you need to. Make sure that your image is in JPEG. Once you press save, you can actually increase or decrease the size of the image as you want. I'm going to save it in the highest resolution for now. For the second image, I'm dragging and dropping an image where I am also visible along with this beautiful crazy sky in Kerala. I'm going to open filter and take camera raw filter again. And in this picture, I'm going to try to make the sky look very crazy because you guys keep asking me about that. I'm going to start by making the picture a little more contrasting. Again, going to reduce the highlight for sky visibility and get a little bit of lighter shadows. And I'm increasing the clarity, but it's just making me look a little more dark, so we'll have to fix that. Let's increase the luminescence to make the image a little more smoother along with a little sharpness. And for colors, I'm going to increase purple because I want to exaggerate the sky. So pink and purple is what I'm going to work with. 
and then I'm going to decrease the orange a little bit so that my skin looks a little better then just press ok and check out the difference in the image if you want this guy to look a little bit more badass all you need to do is pick the selection tool and drag your mouse on the area of the sky then you can again go to filter and select camera raw filter and just increase the clarity then press ok right click on the image to deselect the selected area and now check out the difference in the image isn't this sky looking gorgeous if you want to select something specifically and brighten then you have to take this tool and just move it on the image alternatively you can make anything darker by selecting the other tool which is the burn tool and just move it around wherever you need to if you want to work on the sky a little bit more then you can just repeat whatever we did before take the selection tool select the sky go to filter and camera for filter and just increase the clarity I'm just going to save the image on my desktop and show you the difference between the before picture and the after one I'm going to finally show you how to edit a portrait shot, a close-up portrait shot which has to be very clear and has to be worked on very meticulously. So we are again going to go to camera raw filter and as you can see the picture is very exposed. We're going to reduce the exposure a little and then play with contrast, highlight and shadows. Make sure to use a little bit of luminescence because it's your face and you might want to smoothen it and keep a little bit of sharpening so that not everything becomes too smooth. Since the picture is a little too smooth right now, I'm going to increase the clarity and you can see the difference that my face is more sharper now. Let's play with the colors now. I'm going to increase the yellow. I'm surely going to play along with the red because I want my lipstick to stand out in this one. And that's about it. There's a little exposed area on my left side so I'm going to take the dodge tool and the burn tool and just play around with a little bit of darkness and lightness to balance the image and the background. And then you can take the crop tool and just crop off the extra part of the image. I'm just going to give a little last minute touches to my hair because it's looking a little too bright because the light source is from only one side. You can also take the sharpening tool from the left side and sharpen certain things that you want. Check out the difference where it's written Smashbox on the box. Isn't it more clear now? Let's save the image and check out the difference. So this is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found this uh, tutorial really useful. And please go download the software and figure it out and let me know if you want to know anything else at all. And I'm not going to leave this video without doing a giveaway. So uh, I'd really really like this perfume by Juicy Couture. It's got this really cute packaging and I'm giving this away to one of you guys. It's a brand new perfume which I just got. I got a new one for myself so I got another one for you guys. And all you have to do is find the description down below and follow the rules and one of your girls can win this. <laughs> So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'm Kriti Rana Gil and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!